Advantages of the 2026 GSX-R 1000 R 40th Anniversary 1. Powerful yet compliant engine The 999.8 cc inline 4 now features a higher compression ratio. 13. 8 to 1. Revised cam profiles, stronger crankshaft and chain, and refined injectors for cleaner Euro 5 plus emissions while delivering around 195 horsepower at 13,200 revolutions per minute and 110 newton meters at 11,000 revolutions per minute. 2. Advanced electronics, smart TLR system, traction control updated, plus new anti lift, wheelie control, and roll torque control, all managed via a 6 axis IMU now improves safety and confidence during high-speed riding. Includes 6-axis IMU, bi-directional quickshifter, lean-sensitive abs, launch control, and slipper clutch. 3. High-spec chassis, suspension, and brakes maintains a lightweight twin-spar aluminium chassis, 203 kg wet, paired with Showa Balance Free Front, BFF, Fork and BFRC Light Rear Shock. Brembo monoblock calipers and 320mm front discs, plus Bridgestone 11 rupees tires, provide top-tier stopping power and grip. 4. Distinctive 40th Anniversary Styling 3 Retro-Painted Liveries, Blue, White, Red, White, Yellow, Matte Blue, with special 40th Anniversary graphics, a Retro R logo on the belly pan, and unique fuel tank and seat badges. 5. Improved reliability and endurance ready internals. Engine durable components, wider cam chain, stronger rods, optimized cooling, reflect endurance racing support and long term usability. Suzuki's reputation for long term reliability continues. As many Reddit users attest, GSXR models are known for requiring little beyond standard maintenance. Warning drawbacks and limitations 1. Slight drop in peak power. Peak output is down from the previous 202 PS to 195 PS due to Euro 5 Plus tuning, although real-world usability remains largely unchanged. 2. Limited change in ergonomics and comfort No change to rider triangle or wind protection. Supremely sporty position may not suit long-distance comfort. GSXR ergonomics remain aggressive by design. 3. Incremental aero upgrades winglets are now carbon fiber, but these are relatively small and bolt-on, not integrated into fairing, offering modest downforce improvements. 4. No display or cruise control update Some riders note that Suzuki still uses older LCD gauge clusters and lacks features like cruise control, which competitors offer. A Reddit comment sums it up. Greater than, I tested the 2023 model, the QS is a dream. But also, Missing some critical features that other bikes like the new MT-09 have. 5. Still a niche in modern superbike market despite being reintroduced in many regions after previous discontinuations due to emissions laws. Some commentators argue Suzuki is playing catch-up on innovation. Greater than. If you want the latest and greatest buy elsewhere, BMW, Yamaha, Kawasaki.